We're fighting over the middle of the battlefield here where there's three command points. And pretty much at the end of our, each of our turns, we can check to see if we control the command point. And if we do, it's worth one point. And at the end of the game, whoever scored the most points will be the winner. And you also do get one point for each enemy war scroll that you do eliminate. Yeah, what he said. My week starts right now. Okay, so I moved my guys up, and yeah, so I'm here with Jason. Jason, say hi. Oh, Say hi to the vloggy. And we're doing the episode of Tabletop Battlefield this coming Sunday, but tonight we're doing something for Tabletop Battlefield, which is playing this game. Jason, please say with it. Uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. What he said. And we're playing these. I have, like, orcs, playing as orcs and spiders and goblins, and he's got, like, uh, what are these guys again? They're ferocious. Let's just put it that way. And salamanders that burn up fire and... Lizardmen. Lizard game. Seraphon. That's right. Within five rounds, we'll see who wins, just to keep everything nice and short and sweet. And how I'm going to judge this game, basically, I'm going to say I really have no clue about what I'm playing, but uh, I'm just going to do my best with what I've experienced so far playing these two these two rounds. So, And I'm talking too much. Let's go back to playing. Okay, so Jason's basically clicking my tail, um, at least on one side of the battle. Like, my orcs, uh, they're getting the wish about wanting to die. Pretty darn quickly because all these. It's like these two, which are the heroes, didn't even get a chance to fight. They just basically, bam, just died. And then. One got my, burned alive. <laughs> one got burned alive. Um, and then the archers actually did a pot shot at this guy, but this guy ended up stomping them right where they were standing. The rest of Jason's guys are just standing here idly, just going, like, okay, whatever. But the big cool thing is these. These these spiders are just amazing. They basically wiped out who was attacking them there, and they're about to wipe out who's it, who they're attacking here. Okay, here we are, back again. It's Sunday now, actually. What happened in our last game that you were watching was that my spiders basically overwhelmed Jason a lot, and we ended up actually ending at a tie, which is good. Which is pretty good, considering he wiped out like nearly all my force bit out before I was able to realize that, ooh, I could just... something. I could just uh, start wiping out his guys one by one with the spiders. So if we would have been able to continue, I probably would have wiped every one of his guys out. Now, for today, Sunday, we're going to be doing the show, but before we do, we have a few rounds of Hero Skateboard, and if this looks famili familiar, in earlier vlogs, we did this for Tales of Valhalla, the bridge scene, uh, minus there's no trees, because I forgot to bring the trees today. Uh, but we're going to play a scenario uh, with the Airborne Elite and Raylan versus the Dumatef Guard. Kind of similar to what was in the show, and so we're going to do that. It should be a pretty quick uh, game. Then we're going to play like 600... Uh, point armies against 600 point armies on each side and see who wins that. So that's what we're going to do. Order number two. Well, I might as well activate rail and just have her attack again. Okay, wow, so that was quick. Yeah. Well, let's see, this will go a little bit longer. Probably. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. We're going to do our 600 point army scenario. I have some baddies here. I got Torin from the show, I got Estevara, and I got some figures that could be in future seasons. Hint, hint, hint. What do you have, Jason, by the way? Oh, the Zetacron, the Omicron Snipers, mm. the Knights of Weston, mm -hmm. Sir Dendrick, Nilfiem, and Finn, the Viking Champion. Ouch, that should hurt. You. Ah! This is round two, right? Mm -hmm. Round two. Round two. And I already drew first blood. This one, so. Yes. Yes, I didn't even use these two guys back here. They're just standing back there chilling. Like, oh, we'll get in if, you know, they need us, you know. This awesome ninja guy. He's going to be amazing this battle. 
He's just hiding in the darkness. But yeah, so once again, spiders overwhelm Jason. I don't know what it is like for this 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 uh, episode and this, this spiders for Jason, but seemed to get the best of them both times. I think Jason had the advantage like early on, but then I because like I rolled some bad <laughs> rolls, like really bad rolls, and he was able to kill um, the only one guy that he killed early off the bat, Wavering. Um, but the other guys held strong. I mean, I, he killed a couple of my spiders, but I still had a good amount, and I was able to overwhelm his forces and kill most of his guys. So yeah, awesome. About ready? Just about. And I feel terrible, or I don't feel terrible. I feel sad. Kyle's not here. Yeah, well, I don't know. Actually, we'll just talk about him. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. We have a wrinkly background. It's coming out pale blue in this camera, <laughs> Is it? but it's really it, it. It's blue. Trust me, people. It's it's really blue. It's just, I think the way the light's shining on it, it's like causing a it's diff probably, different. Because it's it's you know it's right in front of the mirror. So if your camera is probably picking up a lot of glare from behind the mirror, making it really look blue, like you know light blue. Yeah, light blue. Well, that and the lights here too. That doesn't help either. Yeah. Darn lights. But the, it looks blue to my eyes. Well, because it is blue. Of course it's blue. Frinkly too. It worked earlier. Oh, there we go. My switch is in the middle of two settings. There's apparently a uh, off switch in between the flat line and the, um, like... Is my switch on? I don't know, is it? No. Nope. Whoa. Now it's on. Now it's on. <laughs> this is Jason <laughs> talking into the microphone. My levels are down a little bit. Wow, you're coming through wild. That's, like, completely reversed. I'm glad we know how to do these things. <laughs> Well, One thing cool about the zoom, though, is that well, I can. Adjust this is the how you're level. supposed to adjust. This is how you're supposed to have yeah, your mic. Man. <laughs> well, I don't have a degree. It's more of a paper, not a degree. But I know what I'm doing. Half the time. When it comes to what I have, when it comes to anything to do with the video, <laughs> then you got to measure it like this. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. You got to put your head up like this, uh -huh. and then, and then yeah. if your mic's at your pinky, then you're fine. Okay. So it's somewhere down here. Mm-hmm. It'd also be nice to have mics that aren't held together with duct tape, but that's that's another. Where'd your windscreen go? <laughs> I don't know where a windscreen went to. I don't know if I need it for this particular episode. I'm, and it's good if the mic's pointed up at you too. Yours is pointed down. Oh, okay. More duct tape. Give me a moment. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Tabletop battlefield. Is that clipping? Uh, try it again. Tabletop battlefield. Yeah, it's clipping. Yes. Tabletop battlefield. Boo. Boom. Okay, I'm going to turn you down if you keep making those noises. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I don't know. I'm excited for Tales of right. Hell, so I just might. <laughs> am I in the, am I good in the shot? Is there a lot of headroom here? Should there's I, there's should, a fair amount. Should I sit up straight or am I good? Uh, you're probably good. I mean, I, maybe I, sit up a little bit straighter because I do I, look like I'm six inches taller than you. Yeah, I know. Well, that, that's half That's half the podcast, really, because I like to slouch. You do. Oh, well, whatever works. <laughs> And, you know, my wife has been trying to stop me from doing that. Hi, hi babe, I love you. Slopping um, goes great with the wrinkly background and things. <laughs> more of the slop, it would give a crap appeal. Anyway, my wife's been trying to keep, you know, me sit straight like this. And, I, I don't know, I think it's just, just more comfortable to slouch like this. But I'll try it. It's like throughout the whole episode, if there's going to be cuts, it's going to be like this, 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 this. this, yeah, this yeah. Yeah. You know, this, yeah, okay. All right. Alright, okay. Oh, it's been almost five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Bye. Those two delights are already off. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, so, um, we're done here. Uh, we still got the wrinkly background, though. But yeah, so me and Jason talked a lot, and went through a lot of weepy things, and, uh... Did you say weepy things? Weepy things. I nearly cried. And we're done. So, yeah, that's it for the vlog this week, and I will see you all next week. Later.